Hey everyone, this is Dirty Hands Rob, and I'm going to do a quick overview of the Cobra Master Key. I did a short video for you, and you can see me shooting it in the link in the description below. And also there's a few other links to Arfcom and Reddit. Here's the uh, rear portion. It is a U-shaped piece of steel. It is 1 8 inch. There's a few holes in it. And then it attaches the rear part of the M11 to the street sweeper. The front portion here is a quite thick machined piece of steel and that you do have to get the street sweeper barrel and the Mac barrel in the correct holes and it is very well machined. It is uh, probably better machined than most of the Cobra guns themselves. <clears throat> also with this uh, little adapter is a couple of screws and that's what attaches the rear piece to the street sweeper in the Mac. Uh, I did not use that because I don't have an M11, I have an M10 and I'll talk about that later. And all of the screws are a 5 30 seconds Allen head. And like I said, I don't have an M11, I have an M10. And I made this work, uh, but I had to do a couple of modifications, and I'll talk about that next. Okay, this is my M10. In order to get the adapter to work with my M10, I had to modify a couple things. I used the front piece, even though it's a little bit shorter than I like it to be, it needs to be just a little bit longer. The rear part was used but it had to be put on sideways and I had to use a piece of metal that would connect to the street sweeper uh, right where the grip would be and it worked but it wasn't ideal after messing around with it a bit I decided I have to change the rear part to make it more secure and I'll show you what I did next so for my rear part of the adapter I bought some eighth inch steel at a hardware store and what I did was I began measuring and heating up the steel and then bending it around the rear of the receiver this hole I drilled to match this hole right down here, this little nub. <clears throat> it took a couple of tries and a lot of measuring to get it just right, but I got it pretty tight. Uh, this is a thin piece of steel here that I used to connect from the receiver to the uh, street sweeper where the grip would be. And uh, the thin steel did not want to melt and join up with the thicker steel very good, so I had to cover it with JB Weld, which... I will clean all that up and uh, paint this up and make it look somewhat good, uh, you know, before I'm ready to really show it off. This is just a work in progress, and I hope to get some videos for you, but I will assemble it for you right now, and uh, I'll probably speed through it. It's very tight. And that is about it. That's what it looks like for now. I, like I said, I hope to get some uh, videos of this in action. Um, maybe I'll get some photos of it actually attached to my street sweeper and not just the uh, uh, my spare handguard. Anyway, that's uh, one final note is the street, sweeper, street sweeper's barrel is aluminum, so you can't torque down these very hard. And I'm afraid the recoil uh, someday is going to screw up my barrel. So this is only a range toy. It's not really something that you, know, you want to use every single day. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.